A little while ago, a very mind-blowing tool just came out for free that's called Claude Engineer. Now, this isn't affiliated with Claude at all. It was actually made by a guy, a gentleman called uh, that goes by the name of Darian Darko in GitHub. Well, what is Claude Engineer? It's an interactive command line interface that leverages the power of Anthropic Claude 3.5 Sonnet model to assist with software development tasks. Great. What does that mean for us known techie folks? It means essentially with this application, you can have Claude Sonnet 3.5 in your system, in your computer, help you with coding tasks, which is incredible because it has functions, meaning that it can open, create folders and organize folders structure, which is extremely important for any kind of web development or any application development. I'm gonna show you what it can do and then I'm gonna show you how to install it. This is what it looks like with my command line open. So I've already started having a conversation with it. I'm gonna say, well, what can you do? And it has a set of prompts already in the background, which you can change because this is open software. And it tells you what it can do here. Uh, it's an assistant coding, you know, whatever, whatever. Let's see what it can do for us. Let's ask it to create a simple task, which yes, you can essentially do with Claude online and probably with ChatGPT. But for the instance of this tutorial, we'll get it to do something very simple, like create a Pomodoro timing app using HTML5. So I've asked it to do a Pomodoro timer uh, application in HTML5 that also has a little to do sign to a little to do section that I can put my task there as well as a little dark mode setting that we can switch on and off. I'll press enter and I wanna show you the file structure here as well so you can see real time the structures and the files that it starts creating. See, it already created the HTML app there. It asks you if it wants to continue. It does have a auto mode, which I'll show you in a second and what that is and what it can do with that. And as you can see now, it created the CSS, which is great. And I'm gonna say, perfect, do that. And now create the CSS, the styling and JavaScript, and also uh, put it all into one folder so it's nice and organized. And if you can see here on the right hand side, it starts doing all these things, which is pretty magical, particularly for someone who doesn't code. Interesting thing as well, that it starts telling you how much everything is costing you. So this little experiment, for example, has already costed me 20 cents here, which is fine for some cases, but if you start using this on a daily basis, you will get a pretty expensive API bill. However, unfortunately, you do get a lot of error messages and I'll probably see one here where you use it too much and your API gets, your API calls gets limited. It's now editing the files, putting everything in that in this folder and here evidently is one of the first error messages that we get um, which is a shame because it's a really cool app but it's not the application itself it's um, anthropic it, where it's failing where I'm wanting to call this too often and too soon regardless it's made our application let's see it in action and hopefully it works and cool so I have a bomb without a timer if I start it it does start which is really good I can pause it I can reset it great so that functionality works let's start and let's do uh, the to-do list let's create the YouTube video and add a task Great, and it's even placed a little thing to remove it, and I haven't even told it to do that, so it understands other parameters that a file needs, which is pretty good. And if I toggle dark mode on, it works just as it should. So that's pretty impressive already. Now, you can do this with many applications like uh, Claude, and you can probably do this with the artifact sections, but never mind. I'm gonna stop and reset my Pomodoro timer. Now, if you wanna test this out, you're gonna need a couple of things first. Two things is your API keys, both from Anthropic to be able to use Claude, and you're gonna use Tavali as well, or Tavali, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it's a way to connect this application to the web. And yes, it can do searches for you, which is really, really impressive. I We work in SEO, so I've changed the prompt for it to act like an expert SEO and create really, really good high quality SEO strategies for me, for example. But again, we are limited by the API call from Anthropic. But anyway, all the resources will be linked to the video below. But you wanna to go to Tavali, Tavili, I'm not sure, and go to Dashboard, create an account, it's free. And the folks at Tavali actually give you about a thousand calls for free when you sign up, which is pretty generous. Anyway, as soon as you sign up, make an API key, you're going to copy that and leave it somewhere that you can access. And then if you haven't done so, create an account with Anthropic, that's console.anthropic.com 
uh, com. Once you are here and you have verified your account, which you can do so with your phone number, you can go to get API keys. Now, if you've verified the account with your phone number, you should get still, hopefully, at least of, as of the time of this recording, a $5 credit, which is enough to try this out right away. You're gonna create an API key and then you are going to name it. Let's name it Claude Engineer. And then you're gonna create the key. And you want to save this API key somewhere that you can access again, because that's the only time you're going to see it. I'm gonna close and I'm going to delete this right away so no one watching this video can use that API key. Now, you've got your two main assets that you're gonna, that are gonna help you create, that are gonna help run this Claude engineer. Next thing you need to do is go to this little URL. Now, don't be scared by GitHub. I know nothing of coding and I was able to manage this. So trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. And you even had the readme files and the instructions on how to do this. It's very, very simple. First, you need to clone this repository. You can do so by opening your terminal. I'm gonna give you the instructions on Mac because I'm on a Mac. Sorry, if you're on a PC, you can pro probably follow along. Let's go to terminal and let's start this thing again so we can do it from the beginning. Now, just to show you that we're doing this from the very beginning, we're going to delete our Claude engineer, Ola, and we are trying to do this all over again. So within the link of the uh, Darian Darko Claude engineer, you're going to see this first thing, the installation guide, and it says to clone this repository, very easy to do. You go to your terminal and you open the terminal up. Anywhere where you want to place your Claude engineer, you need to you need to place the following code here, and it's already cloning the Claude engineer. That's all I did. I just press copy paste and I paste it into my terminal, and it's already copied all the files over. Now, what's the second thing we need to do? If we move this guy over, it tells us here: install the required uh, dependencies. You just need to copy that, go back to your terminal, paste. And guess what? It's installing all of the requirements here. Fantastic. Now, here is where it gets a tiny bit tricky, but not really. You need to set up your environment variable. So it says create an env file in the project root directory. Just create a file in the folder where the Claude engineer is at. And you need to create the following environments, the anthropic key and the uh, Tavali key so that it can call Claude and it can uh, it can browse the internet. So I'm gonna copy these two things. I'm going to go to the file structure where I've got my Claude engineer here, open this up, make this a little bit bigger. You will need some kind of application like the Visual Code Studio or anything like that just to create a new file. I'm going to go file uh, new. I'm just going to paste those two parameters that it's told me to do. And as you can see here, all you gotta do is put your API key right in this section and put the key from Tavali in this section here. Once you do that, you save as it tells you to save it, which is just a, once you do that, you save the file as Adorian Darko instructed you to do so. If we have a look at it, again, it says create it just a .env file. I'm gonna copy it directly as it says here, and it's gonna save it as a .env file within the Claude Engineer folder. It's that simple. I'm gonna go save, and yes, I'm gonna use that I'm gonna replace it. What this does is just sets your key parameters, your API key parameters in a safer way uh, that nobody else can access them or shouldn't have access to them anyway. So now if I go back to the instructions, then I need to set up the virtual environment to code the execution. Now, don't worry if you have no idea what this means. Uh, we're gonna to go to the terminal again and we're going to start it all over. And now essentially we need to open the terminal within the folder where we have our Claude engineer and then open this up. So it's really easy. If you just press LS, it lists the files of the folder that you're currently in. I was in my main folders and I can see all of these different folders that I have and I wanna access Claude engineer. So to go into that folder, you just go CD 
and paste the Claude Engineer folder. Now I, my system, my terminal system is in the Claude Engineer folder. So if I press LS, meaning list all the files that are in there, I see the main parameters here. So now the final component here, I can just go to press Python three space main dot py because I want to open the main file within that system. And there you go. You know that it's working if you've got this message here going, welcome to Claude Sonnet Engineer. What can I help you with? Now you can ask it anything. Just be very, very careful because it can get quite expensive very quickly, but it's a fun tool to play around with and it can be an incredible development tool if you are coding a lot. You can get it to do research. For example, I've told it to search the latest AI new from today and summarize it. And I should give it a second. You should see that it's going to start using its uh, Tavali feature, the search functionality, which is what you want it to do. So it understands which tool it needs to use, which is kind of cool. So now I see um, GBTO, yeah, announced. Perfect. So it's given a nice little search today. Perfect. You can also get it to create CSV functions. So if I wanted it to, for example, summarize all that into a CSV file, I can go, I could tell it to place all this information, well organized and structured in a CSV file with a summary, name, publication, URL, and date, for example. And it knows what kind of files to create a CSV. I've just told it that. If you give it a second, it should start doing its thing. As you can see, it's created the file uh, the latest CSV, but unfortunately I've got the same error, which you saw earlier, which is the rate limit error. I probably need to increase my rate limit from Anthropic because I'm not using enough. That's the only shame about this. Apart from that, it's a really, really cool tool. By the way, if you don't know who I am, my name's Nico. I run an AI ranking and automation hub online community. That's actually where I found out about this tool. We had a special guest in, uh, where he told us about this tool and how to use it because not only do you get all the tutorials here on how to do AI powered automations, AI powered search engine optimization, but we also bring in industry professionals to give chats once a month. Uh, but we also have weekly meetings, live Q and A's where we can have a conversation and we can help you out with all things AI powered automations and AI powered search engine optimization. It's a lot of fun. And if you've gone to the end of this video, you might want to check it out. I'll leave it in the video description below. And if you don't want to join, that's fine. Keep watching these videos, hit the like and subscribe button. I would be greatly appreciated of that. Thanks for watching. Peace.